dear students in this class a lesson i discuss about elliptically and circularly polarized light uh, let a monochromatic light or unpolarized light that is incident on the nickel prism by the principles of the nickel prism uh, we have learned from one of our lecture is that unpolarized light that is incident on the nickel prism it is split into two components one is ordinary ray and another is extraordinary ray when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle this ordinary ray that is totally internally reflected and the extraordinary ray that is only emerges out this extraordinary ray that is uh, plain polarized light and this uh, plain polarized light is allowed to fall on the calcite crystal what happens this calcite crystals splits the ray into two components ordinary ray and extraordinary ray the one of the important point is that this ordinary ray and extraordinary ray travels in the same directions but with different velocities see here the calcite crystal this is the calcite crystals calcite crystals is inclined such that these vibrations of the plane polarized light is making an angle theta with the optic axis so this rays is split into two components one is ordinary and another is extraordinary these two rays or these two waves travels along the same direction but with different speed let a be the vibrations amplitude of the vibrations of the incident plane polarized light it can be resolved into two components one is a cos theta and another is a sin theta it can be resolved into two components that is pe and po that is one is along the optic axis and another is perpendicular to the optic axis that is the vibrations parallel to the optic axis forms the extraordinary ray and the vibrations perpendicular to the optic axis forms the ordinary ray and uh, these two vibrations emerging out the crystals may be represented as two symbol harmonic motion at right angles to each other having a phase difference delta between them so we can adopt the equation for the symbol harmonic motion so we can write the x equal to a sin omega t plus phi here phi is the phase difference and y is equal to uh, another amplitude that is maybe b sin omega t that is these two amplitudes or these two waves having a phase difference of delta here a can be replaced here a can be replaced by one component that is a cos theta and b can be replaced by another component that is a sin theta a sin theta a cos theta that is the components uh, that is parallel to the optic axis and a sin theta is the components perpendicular to the optic axis now we have just solved these two equations a simple mathematical steps that is x by a equal to sin omega t plus delta and y by b equal to sin omega t from sin omega t that is this equation so we can easily find out cos omega t by using the equation sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so cos omega t is equal to root of 1 minus sin square omega t so we can write root of 1 minus y square divided by b square and now just uh, go to this step that is x y a equal to sin omega t plus delta we can expand this equation that is sin a plus b that is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so we can write sin omega t plus delta as sin omega t cos delta 
plus cos omega t sin delta. So obviously we can replace this. Uh, we know the values of uh, sin omega t that is y by b and about cos omega t that is root of 1 minus y square by b square. So we have just replaced sin omega t and cos omega t by suitable terms. And just do a simple rearrangements. And finally, we will get x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 2xy by ab cos delta equal to sin square delta. This is the general equation of an ellipse. So, generally the emergent light is elliptically polarized. This is the general case and the plane polarized light and the circular depolarized light they are the special cases of this elliptically polarized light that is depends upon the values of the phase difference delta and now we go to the first case that is when delta is equal to zero that is if the two waves that is at uh, right angles to each other having a phase difference of delta between them what happens when this delta is equal to zero we just substitute delta equal to zero that is sine zero equal to zero cos zero equal to one so we will get the equation as x square by a square plus y square by b square minus two x y divided by a p equal to zero so we will get x by a minus y by b whole square equal to 0. From this equation, we will get the equation of the straight line passing through the origin having the slope b by a. That is y is equal to b by a into x. This is the equation of the straight line passing through the origin having the slope b by a. So, obviously, we will get the emergent light is plane polarized light. This is the one of the special case of the elliptically polarized light. And now when delta that is equal to multiples of pi by 2 that is not multiples of pi by 2 that is pi by 2, 3 pi by 2 and 5 by pi 2. What happens? We will get x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. This is the uh, equation of a symmetrical ellipse. Here, A and B are not equal. That is, here the emergent light is elliptically polarized when A is not equal to B. Here, the plane of the ellipse that is normal to the direction of propagation. Then, what happens when theta is equal to 45 degree? That is the vibrations making an angle of 45 degree with the direction of axis. That is, the, here the vibrations making an angle theta with the optic axis. When this theta is equal to 45 degree, what happens? A cos 45 and sin 45, that is 1 by root 2. So, obviously, A and B are equal. We will get x square plus y square that is equal to a square. So, the emergent light that is circularly polarized light. When the uh, planes of vibrations that making an angle theta that is equal to 45 degree with the optic axis of the crystals, we will get circularly polarized light. And when this angle is other than 45 degree, we will get elliptically polarized light. And uh, now we go to the third case that is delta is equal to pi and 3 pi, 5 pi, etc. We will get another equation of the straight line having passing through the origin having the slope minus b by a. In the first case we will get the slope b by a but in this case we will get minus b by a. Just rotate the face. So here emergent light is plane polarized light okay from these cases we will uh, understand that circularly polarized light and plane polarized light they are only the special cases of elliptically polarized light 
when um, and we just see the nature of our vibrations of the emergent light of uh, different values of delta for delta equal to 0 pi by 4 pi by 2 3 pi by 4 delta equal to pi and 5 pi by 4 3 pi by 2 7 pi by 4 and 2 pi now just to see this wrong that is delta that is between the values 0 and pi the ellipse is described in the anti-clockwise direction the ellipse all are ellipse but they are in the anti-clockwise direction and here the transmitted light is said to be left-handed elliptically polarized here all these three all these five are left-handed elliptically polarized light and see uh, for delta that is uh, between pi and 2 pi the elliptical vibrations they are in the clockwise direction they are in the clockwise direction now the light is said to be right handed elliptically polarized right handed elliptically polarized okay in the uh, next class uh, we will uh, discuss about how we can produce this uh, plane polarized light elliptically polarized light and circularly polarized light okay thank you